There was a time when the CLA was a very popular offering for those looking at making an entry into the Mercedes family. But the CLA was discontinued some time back and there is no new CLA on the horizon for the Indian market. Instead, Mercedes is now launching the all new E-Class limousine, this car right here. And it promises a whole lot of space on the inside, a lot of tech and a capable drive performance. We're testing this car on all of these parameters and we're letting you know what you need to know about the latest to join the Mercedes India family. I'm Shubhadeep, this is HT Auto. The A-Class limousine seeks to have a no-nonsense look, coupled with a sporty profile that in many ways follows the design elements of Big Brother's C, E and to some extent even the S-Class. The striking LED headlights with integrated DRLs, the large grille with single chrome line on either side of the Mercedes TriStar, the large air dams on either side or even the sculpted bonnet. This car has the looks to appeal to a younger generation of Mercedes buyers. A stretched out profile from the side is what adds weight to the name limousine in the A-Class. A wheelbase of 27-29mm has the sole objective of offering more space on the inside, while the 17-inch alloys and chrome outlining on the windows add a touch of youthful exuberance. The rear of the car is rather muted with LED headlights and a strung up trunk which opens to 405 litres of space in the A200 and 395 litres in the A200D that's diesel. The A-Class also comes with six color options, polar white, Mojave silver, mountain gray, cosmos black, denim blue, and indium silver. The real proof of the pudding of the limousine is whether it is a limousine for the passengers at the rear. So it's time to get inside this car. The upholstery on the inside can be had in either beige or black, and a new walnut open port trim gives the cabin a premium appeal. Now there's nothing much that's muted inside the cabin of the E-Class limousine. Now, it isn't very flashy, but uh, it is nicely, very tastefully done. Um, but rare seats are where uh, a lot of people may want to be in, considering that it's a limousine. And uh, the knee room here is pretty adequate. Leg space is something that could have been worked upon a little bit more, considering the wheelbase that this car has. The seating position is a bit upright, not uncomfortable. The headroom is fantastic. There is 944mm of headroom, so even somebody who's 6, 6 feet or even more uh, shouldn't find that to be a problem. What is a slight problem is that the windows are pretty small um, and they don't even have a shade. Now, I'm not sure if that comes as an accessory in one of those packages that Mercedes is offering, but in this particular car, there is no window shade and in the Goa weather right now, that is something that I'm sorely missing. Now Mercedes is also offering panoramic sunroof uh, and yes the sunroof is quite large but I'm not very sure what's panoramic about it because it's really not the entire length of, of the roof here. The styling has been done really well, it's a bit minimalistic but it should appeal to a lot of people. Now take these rare AC vents for example, these are nice, they're not large but the two circles are adequate in terms of why they're there in the first place. There is also the micro USB charging point right below it, so that's great. Also a good point here is that the central console doesn't jut back all that much. But that said, like with Mercedes and most other cars in the luxury segment, there is a quite a tall uh, foot hump here, which will uh, make the passenger sitting in the middle slightly uncomfortable, especially on long journeys. I can sit here on these rare seats and keep talking to you about what's great and what's not, but really my best part of a review is what the driving seat has on offer. So before we get a move on and tell you the drive capabilities of the A-Class, let's tell you what to expect when you're seated in the driving seat. Now here in the front seat, there are certain things that are very familiar to somebody who's uh, been inside Mercedes for quite some time and yet the A-Class limousine has its bit of character here and there. Now speaking about things that are familiar, where you can adjust the front two seats uh, electronically, it has memory function as well on the side, that's great. The central console here is again very familiar for uh, people who are used to a Mercedes system. You have the nice large trackpad, you have controls for the radio, the navigation, you have uh, knobs 
modes for the volume. I already mentioned the driving modes, um, so that's great. There is a whole lot of storage space as well. You can store two cups here on the center console. There is decent amount of space for a wallet and maybe a, a sanitizer here under the armrest. There is generous amount of space on the door handles. So that's great. Now, what is unique about the A-Class limousine? Well, just take a look at this gorgeous display right here. And Mercedes has put in this sticker right here to keep things hygienic, but we're going to peel it off right now. And it reveals something that is extremely premium, something that you would find in segments above the A-Class. Uh, so there is this 10.25 inch screen, the main infotainment screen and another 10.25 inch driver display all put in one single flowing casing which looks really premium. Appealing to the youth perhaps are these really nice AC vents which are sort of in a turbine design and a great feature visually is that there are ambient lights on the dash you can't see them right now because we're in a very brightly lit space but we've seen them uh, at night and this looks really gorgeous but you also have the ambient lights inside these ac vents each of them which really takes the appeal of the cabin to the next level there is the dash for practicality we mentioned storage and this is a nice really large dash right here there is a wood trim finish on the dash here and on the side door as well so these are certain elements that the Mercedes designers have done really well. Practically, well, you have a nice commanding view of what's ahead. That's largely thanks to the high ground clearance and the seating position. So for a sedan, that's really well done. Consequently, you can always adjust the steering wheel for uh, rake and reach. So there is much that's happening inside the Mercedes A-Class limousine for the driver himself or herself. Now for the most interesting part, the drive itself. So let's get a move on. The latest from Mercedes gets two engine options, a 1.5 litre petrol and a two litre diesel. Well, there's 163 HP in petrol engine and 250 Newton meters of torque. There is 150 HP on offer in the diesel and a delicious 320 Newton meters of torque. Transmission duties are handled by a 7G DCT unit inside the petrol while an 8G DCT is hard at work on this particular test diesel variant. Now, as I previously mentioned, the A-Class limousine comes with two uh, engine options. There's the petrol and there is the diesel. The one that we're in right now is the 2.0-litre diesel engine. The two things that are immediately evident is that this diesel engine isn't the most thrilling to drive. Uh, will it perform to all the inputs that you give it? Yes, but the power is not something that would really, really appeal to someone who's seeking a thrill ride. So if you are a young buyer looking for uh, something that's really exciting, then the A-Class limousine may not really fit the bill for you. But if you're considering the A-Class limousine as a daily commute option with nice handling, then yes, this one makes great sense for you. Why? Because for starters, the gearbox slots itself really well, it performs really well. The gear slots are on point, uh, really playing a complementary role to all the throttle inputs. So that's great. What also helps is that the steering wheel is nicely weighted. No surprises really there because Mercedes tends to do a pretty good job on that count. The suspension setup inside this car is also nicely done. So you have the speed breakers like this one and it just gobbles up these uh, craters and speed breakers with really minimal effort. The A-Class limousine comes with three drive modes, it's the Eco, the Comfort and the Sport mode. And uh, in Comfort and in the Sport mode, the car does get a move along pretty well. Like I mentioned, it's not the most, uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's a thrill machine, but it gets the job done. In Eco mode, it is slightly sluggish, especially, especially if you're going from driving in Comfort or uh, sport mode for a long period of time and then suddenly you switch back to eco you'll feel uh, quite a bit of difference but if you are uh, looking to conserve fuel and well we all know what the fuel prices are like then it's not really a deal breaker either now for one i'm not saying that youngsters won't want a thrilling ride in fact if anything at all it is uh, the youngster who would want a, a drive that's really exciting the 
A-Class limousine is really more practical rather than an outright thrill machine. So while I won't hold it against this car, uh, as I mentioned, if you do want to push this car around, it will go through bends really nice and the uh, steering wheel is nicely weighted, but it won't beat any of its elder siblings perhaps in, in a flat out drag race. The A-Class limousine is targeting young achievers and millennials and in that target audience, this car seems to be quite a hit. But for someone who's already been a veteran in the luxury car space, there is much more that Mercedes could have packed in into this vehicle, especially in the rear seat compartment, because at the end of the day, it's called the A-Class limousine. What do you think about this vehicle, this review? Do let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, drive safe.